welcome to this Monday coaching meditation. Today I want to talk about planting seeds. Planting seeds, just like creating more sales. Wherever you are, I want you to feel safe and secure, allowing yourself the time and space to be ready and open to whatever you need to be ready and open to when listening to this recording. Because as a person in business, part of everyone's role is to be able to sell. But not everyone enjoys it, do they? I know I didn't. But what if I were to tell you that there is a better way of attracting new clients that does not require lots of time on the phone, cold calling, bothering people with your sales script, your patter, no longer treating them as somebody you're selling to. Because they know what you're doing. They're not silly. So what if you could do things in a way that fulfilled your need to approach sales in a different way, much more person-centered, laying out an invitation and not being worried about whether they take it or not. It is just an offer. And the thing is, the more offers you make, I wonder if that could mean you could get more clients. But it all starts at the beginning. You have to think and choose the plants you want. It really does start with you. I wonder, who do you need to be to be able to attract those new clients today, easily and effortlessly? Who is the person you want to be or are meant to be that will enable you to do that more and more effectively as time goes by. And as you get a sense of this you, this you who just draws people in much easier than you thought possible, I wonder, what else would you need to enable you to really be seamless at this and let that thing come to mind right now. Maybe it is more confidence, more. Just allow that to come to mind now. That's right. Very good. Maybe you need to be able to listen more deeply. Be more relaxed and calm. Insightful and intuitive. Able to ask better questions. It doesn't much matter what it is, just that you bring that to mind right now. And imagine that is you now. What might your life be like then for you? And just imagine the difference that would make to your ability to engage with people. Be of interest to people. Giving them the opportunity to truly be interested in what you do. So just get a sense of what would be going on around you. Would it be more phone calls coming in or more emails? Maybe people can see you face to face, booking appointments with you. Just get a sense of that now. And whatever it is, make sure it's more and more of what you love 
and less and less of what you don't. Just imagine it now. And whilst this still requires you to do something, listening to this, you can begin to change your mindset to realize none of us like being sold to, do we? We would much prefer people tell us what's going on and then be invited along to talk about what's there. And the interesting thing is, the more comfortable you are, not just with your product, but with just having conversations with no fixed outcome, no objective, the more you could just find yourself bringing more people in. It can be as easy as that. However, easy it might be, but we all know we have to prepare the ground. And just like seedlings, the first thing you have to do is prepare the ground. So who are your clients? Do you know? Really know? I'm sure you may be like me and say everyone, and it is true, they probably are. But if you were to look at the last five clients, are there some similarities? Perhaps a profession, age, gender, or the problem they sort out with you? Because once you have a clear idea of who they are, now you are able to identify more about them, to be able to reach out to them with things that are genuinely of interest to them. And this is where it's like planting the seed. Imagining this person going about their normal day, one ideally that includes the issue that you can solve. And explaining how others have dealt with it. And this is important because now you can identify what it is you want to let them know. This is preparing the soil almost to plant the seeds. And as you plant those seedlings in the places where your people hang out, Dropping information, talking to people, letting them know who you are and what you are. You can begin to find people becoming interested in you personally. So whether it's specific networking events you go to, associations you connect with, or something else, LinkedIn, social media, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're present and you're engaging with people, just like you would if you were out dating. And as you talk and share your wisdom and be personable and open to whatever that conversation brings you, you can begin to capture their interest. And now you're really beginning to think about the next steps to bring more information towards them, to help them understand more about what you do. And this is like nurturing those seeds. It's feeding them. It's watering them. It's giving them the things that will help them grow in confidence about who you are. And some seeds more need more nurturing than others. There is no right or wrong. But know with the right care and attention, those seedlings will begin to grow. Eventually bursting through the soil into the sunlight. And these are at the very delicate stage. So I wonder, how might you help that seedling that has just burst through the sunlight grow into a stronger plant? Somebody who is really interested in what you're doing growing a stronger link with you. And I don't know what that is, a free gift, a discount, an opportunity, whatever you offer those potential new clients and seedlings. And I 
don't know when might be a good time, if you haven't already, to engage in a more meaningful conversation about where they are, what's going on for them. Moving from the passive to the active. This is you nurturing your seed even more. It's not about selling, about understanding what your client wants and identifying whether your product particularly can help. And here's the thing. Maybe you can't help. Your product isn't right for them. But, but do not think that's it. What if you could recommend someone else at this point? How do you think you might be elevated in their memory? There's been no hard sale. You're just supporting them with kindness and sharing opportunities, guiding them in any way that works for them. And if your product or service can help, amazing. Is there something that you could do to give them a taste of what you do? A little snippet so they could see the results? I have no idea, but you do. Anything that makes sure that you're just inviting this client, you are offering, you are supporting. Because when somebody feels safe, they are more likely to come to you. And now the plant is growing. Because one of the many things that happens is the plant is becoming stronger and more attached in so many different ways. And one of the many things that business owners want is the sale. And I remember being told recently, we know you want a sale, but it doesn't have to necessarily be this one. So it's interesting, if you could take that attitude that you want to sell, and if you feel that you're becoming more desperate or pushy or more um, excited, just bear in mind you want to sell, but it doesn't have to be this one. Endeavoring to keep yourself in a neutral state about it, not needing it, not wanting it. This is an offer to you, Mr. Client, but leading them to wanting to work with you because the more you listen, the more you work with them and support them, the more you can find yourself attracting the right client to you. Because there's nothing worse than having a client who doesn't really fit in with what you, you offer. And you, therefore, are not going to be able to provide the best of services. So as you're being there for them, talking to them, listening to them, demonstrating your professionalism, your confidence in what you do, knowing that at some point in the future they'll come back to you, can start to fill you with the right energy to move on to the next one, perhaps. Because it may not be today or tomorrow next week or next month, but keeping that engagement on a friendly, supportive level means that you can keep them at front of mind the next time they do want or need someone like you. And there are many different ways that you can do this. I know a business who sends out small gifts at Christmas and Easter and other key events during the year. Just to help the client, they want to know they're thinking of them. And there does come a point where you are ready to bring that client in, harvesting the plant. At some point, the client is ready to work with you and you are ready to work with them. Now, all you need to do is to astound and amaze them to realize that how much sooner they could have worked with you, how the benefits are so worth it that they want to. 
do more. And the interesting thing is that when they get to this point, you're getting ready to prepare the soil again because they could tell their friends about you, become a referral partner for you, introduce you to others. And you start in a natural way with the next set of clients. And the thing is, because you've been through it once before, you can do this again, better, smoother, more effectively. And all you need to do is focus on preparing the soil. <laughs>